In this lecture, I'm going to review every course in this course series briefly so that you get an overview of not only into the entire course series, but the writing, self-publishing, and marketing process of Amazon nonfiction books. Not only the steps, but pretty much the steps in the order in which you're going to perform them. So this is a good overview of the entire process and course series. Let's jump over to that slide that has all the, the course names on it, and we'll start reviewing. First of all, the series is prefixed with Amazon nonfiction books. Each one of the courses has that as the prefix. So if you want to search for the course series, just search for Amazon nonfiction books space Brian Jackson, and you'll find them all. So the first in the series may or may not exist because this course in the series is providing such a good introduction to the series. I'd still like you to know every course that's in the series and why it exists. The first substantive course is the next course in which we're going to look at planning and scheduling your book release. So we're going to look at things like book pricing. How long should your book be? How often should you release them? Why you should always write in a series? And then I'm going to show you a web application that I wrote called Book Calculator that will actually calculate how long it takes you to write a book based on certain input. Next, we're going to look at researching with Microsoft Notes. This is probably my weakest topic, research. So I'm going to have to buff up to put this together. Following that, we're going to do an introduction to Microsoft Word where I show you how to set up my Word screen and how to configure Word for writing nonfiction. We're going to use numbered chapter headings and one blank line between left justified paragraphs. So we're going to look at how to do all of that in Word. Next, we're going to look at outlining in Word, and here we're going to use the navigation pane, which is a pane that shows you all of your head levels and allows you to actually rearrange head levels and their textual contents to outline a book. Then we'll look at writing fundamentals for beginners. This is rather a long topic, so I'm going to have to super condense it to get it down to less than an hour, but we're going to cover words and spaces. We're going to begin that basic, and then we're going to get into punctuation, sentences, paragraphs, dialogue, and finally short essays, because I want you to experiment with how to connect paragraphs together. Now, how I'm going to do this in a single course, I have no idea. Next, we're going to look at writing with Microsoft Word. So we're going to look at word-assisted writing, things like getting to synonyms and automatic spelling correction. Then you must copyright your work. I'm going to show you how to do it with Pro Writing Aid. You could use Grammarly, and I'm also going to show you a manual process to read your book backwards so you don't get caught up in the plot and out loud so that you hear the errors, and then finally to employ others to read your book. Then we're going to look at the various types of nonfiction books you might want to write and their particular requirements. Now, these courses may end up being condensed into a single one. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do to talk about the specific requirements of each type of nonfiction book, but they all have their own requirements, their own emphasis. I might be able to do this in a single course, but it may take all six or seven. <laughs> then we're going to look at creating a book cover with PowerPoint. This is where we're beginning to get into self-publishing. So we've done the writing part and the planning and so on. Now we're getting into self-publishing and with the creation of a book cover. And I love to use PowerPoint as a general purpose graphics tool. I'm going to show you how to do that. Then formatting your manuscript for publication with Microsoft Word. All the things to get the, uh, the uh, margins correct, the page size, all of that stuff. Making sure that you don't have excess spaces that will create blank pages. Uh, all that good stuff for cleaning up your document before publishing. And then we're going to look at self-publishing a Kindle ebook with KDP, and immediately after that, we're going to do a print-on-demand paperback in KDP. Now, you won't sell many paperbacks. You'll sell more Kindle ebooks, but having a paperback will make your Kindle ebook look more important, so that's primarily why you're doing it, and it's so easy. You may as well do it and maybe make a few bucks. Then 
we're going to get into marketing, which begins with creating the Amazon book product page. All the stuff that wraps around your product, everything that a new reader reads when they're deciding whether they're going to buy your book or not. Then I want you to know about free promotion techniques. Using the fact that you have enrolled your book into the KDP Select program. That's kind of key to my marketing plans. If you don't want to enroll in KDP Select, then many of my promotional techniques in this particular course will not apply, but I don't see any reason why you wouldn't. Finally, we're going to look at paid advertising with uh, reader lists and Amazon marketing services. Now, this is where things get expensive, but you can only go so far with free marketing and creating a great Amazon product page, and then you got to start paying for marketing. <laughs> and that's going to be the entire process. You are going to know everything about planning, writing, copy editing, self-publishing, creating book covers, and marketing your book by the time you finish this course series. And with that said, we're going to move on to a lecture that I took from another course that I just really liked. I, I went nuts with PowerPoint, and I think I created a really nice animated introduction to the self-publishing process. After watching this next lecture, you will understand the self-publishing process that I'm going to take you through from beginning to end. I'll see you in that lecture.